So what is Obamacare? And what's the difference between that and the ACA? So I say there is no difference because Obamacare is the nickname for the Affordable Care Act. So essentially they're one and the same. Well, a misconception about the ACA uh, is I will often get calls that say, um, Obamacare, I don't want the Obamacare insurance. And um, I didn't even vote for him, so therefore I don't want to pay it. And then I say, well, it's the law of the land. It's not an insurance policy that you're buying into. It's actually a law that has passed that now we must comply with as of January 1st of 2014. The law requires that everyone uh, who falls on what they call a sliding scale table, depending on the size of your family and the income of the household, um, whether or not you actually qualify through the Affordable Care Act. Well, that's another asked question all the time is, um, how, what is the tax credit and how can I get it? And uh, the answer to that too is um, exactly how much that tax credit or subsidy will be for you depends upon your income. So it's going to vary for every single person because everyone's income is a little different, the family size is a little different. But I always encourage everyone to enroll and get the real numbers because that is exactly how you will know. And they tend to ask, well, how long before I find out if I qualify or not? And I'm like, well, on the spot. And that seems to be something that pleases everyone. Like, really? Right then and there? But it's a process. But yes, right then and there while you sit and discuss it with the enroller. That people feel very uncomfortable with is the, the household income. Why do I have to put everyone's household income on the plan? It's just, you know, I don't claim my son. He works on his own. And uh, this is a, a good example I have. A la uh, this, this lady, a hardworking daycare mom, uh, works almost full time, about 37 and a half hours a week, uh, and only made uh, $15,000 a year. And when she went to apply for the Affordable Care Act, she fell in what would have been Medicaid expansion because she has three children and herself and therefore did not qualify. But upon further review, I found out her son, who's 22 years old, made $17,000 as a retail shoe salesperson. And their income together allowed them to get part of the Affordable Care Act. And so now, um, I don't recall how much they were going to pay. I just remember they were very happy. So that was a very positive thing. These are the things that I tell them, and these are the kinds of stories I put out there, because then it encourages them to put their incomes together and not be afraid that the IRS or someone's going to come out and get them. It's literally to help them get the entire family covered.